You unlucky motherfuckers, here we are for another movie review. Today we're talking about 2021's Bingo Hell. This one's pretty fun. So from the jump, I saw this poster and I was like, I think that's gonna be a good one. Uh, I didn't read the description, I just saw the poster, saw the title, and I was like, Bingo Hell, yep, I think I'm gonna like that. And for your information, I prefer store boy. This liquid cat shit. All right, so let's jump right into it. What does IMDb say this movie's about? In the barrio of Oak Springs lives a strong and stubborn group of elderly friends who refuse to be gentrified. Their leader, Lupita, keeps them together as a community, a family. But little did they know that their beloved bingo hall is about to be sold to a much more powerful force than money itself. That sounds charming. Get up. Vámonos. Orale. I don't have the time or the energy to be playing Batman and Robin with you behind. So this was directed by Gigi Saul Guerrero. I am not familiar with that name, although I have seen some things she's directed. And I always love it when a director makes a cameo in a movie. <laughs> So this description on IMDb is actually fairly close, which often we know they are not exactly leading you to the right direction. Lupita is the pillar of her community and it's slipping away from her. The community is changing and she is dead set against it. When even her community centers on her new management, it's too much. Now who's ready to win me? The small town bingo hall has impossibly large prizes and Lupita is very suspicious, as she should be. And honestly, anybody should be, it's crazy. But this film is full of fun characters. I really enjoyed the two uh, arguably main characters here. Lupita is awesome. I don't think I'm familiar with her from anything else, but I would totally watch her do other things. She has a really great like character actor vibe to her. And then Dolores is L. Scott Caldwell. Now I'm sure she's in many things, but for me, she's a character on Lost. For a while, Lost was pretty damn good. There's like interesting camera techniques. There's good use of lighting. I love a snorri cam and we get that a bunch of times in this. It's a real fun concept for a movie in the way it is set because gentrification is a nightmare for people that live in that area. As a person who lives in an area that is being gentrified right now, I can tell you, you watch as your taxes keep going up and that is the true horror. But no, yeah, you do see this. All the mom and pops get pulled out. You got new hipstery people moving in, fancy coffee shops, a telltale sign. Fuck you. But Lupita is this tough broad and she doesn't take any shit. And it, it's very fun to see how she goes about this. Speaking of like character actors, the person that plays the bad guy in this, man, now that's a character actor. I, I couldn't see this person playing anything but a bad guy, but boy, is he good at it. <laughs> Feeling. And you know more than anybody what that feeling means. I would actually love to see a prequel story uh, with these characters when they were younger because there's all this fun setup about their past and they talk about things that they've done. And I, I like the characters in general. It's a shame that we can't uh, see that in another horror setting because it really wouldn't make sense. But I, I do like it. I would like to see more with them. Maybe just a uh, fun buddy comedy. This is definitely a fun, light horror movie. Something you could totally watch with like, you know, a group and enjoy it. There are fun little bits. It's, uh, it's not too gory, not too horrific at any moments. It's kind of just a fun watch, but filmed really nicely. Should hold pretty much anyone's attention, even if you're not a horror person, because again, it's not really horrific in any way. It's just like a fun movie that happens to be a horror. This is by Blumhouse, which I think to most people in the horror community can take as a sign that it's probably gonna be pretty good. And then it's backed by Amazon, which means it's gonna have the money to really do what it's gotta do. This is an Amazon Prime film, so you can check it out on there. As I said, it is out now. I do recommend this. Go check it out. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire. I'll see you next time, and as always, Fuck off. Just daggers, you know that he's the sharpest in the shed with content so killer that he left them all for dead. Yeah, cause like I said, no, he don't do this just for fun. Never stop until the top because he's going number one. Just daggers, always cutting through the competition. Everybody listen, homie, he came up here on a mission. Got him wishing that he could take a break to stunt. But the point's to stay sharp, ne never go blunt. Just daggers, 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 just daggers. It's on point, cause you know we stay sharp. Just daggers, just daggers, just daggers, just daggers.